The National Folk Orchestra has been around since the 1980s, but it was revived a number of years ago. What people find amazing is uh, to see so many traditional instruments together in one place on stage. Das mit uns schwören und kaul tried und struktur ta eg kult es agus an more fabula ta an agus an tradition shen bech more le die go will shen. Rod larger breaver be over ta vech mit soch kalte gane. When we were thinking about the the next production for the National Folk Orchestra, we began to think about a time when. Irish music wasn't that popular. The whole point of Legacy is that it commemorates and celebrates those men and women who protected and nurtured the music and the culture. There was oppression of the music, obviously at times like the famine where there was huge emigration and so on. For me, Legacy is the story of the music that refused to die. Thomas <laughs> Curl Kale show Dochretcha Nis Kul Dirk Staru La Kul Vunish Mohoka Nagas. In the National Folk Orchestra, we have some of the best uh, young traditional musicians in Ireland. These young musicians, in, in themselves, they're part of the legacy. The tradition has handed the music down to them. Well, Dom Sainio is coming to Norvito O, Kato, Quitalan Ame, Dead of Clacta, because of Fallen Kyol. So, Tasha Ann Special is kind of a part of the road, Ann Moore, Agus Ann Special, Kasula Shal, Dini Kolo, Lagas Lakyotori, Kolo, Kasula Tam, Agus Nakyotori. The flan of the cells are part of the legacy. They're part of what has nurtured and kept music alive and kept the story alive. I think it's going to be an amazing experience for everybody when it goes on stage in Ennis. Well, Kaima Rog, Wilmans. Get to be all nervous, phenomenal. Ah, some of our little amazing cocktail regalos. For me, it's true. Let's climb it all. Come on, the atmosphere and the air. This electro. Tam asa kain desh ev agam hun veg frasler flakul neheren is intakhanol kaje nil ein rutkhazlesh down.